Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mimi Edutains, a perfect mix of education and entertainment. I'm your favorite host, Haninat Ahmed Ishman. It's day 12. Yeah, it's day 12 of our podcast series. We have how many days left? 25 and so we have 13 days left. Such, such relief. We're getting there. But I'm trying to be as positive as ever. Like, I'm trying to be really positive with this thing um i don't know if you all can notice but like i'm very like the energy level is very low i got back from school like past eight and i'm just so tired it's 9 14. you guys must have known and i mean let's come out with this thing <laughs> i feel like i'm always posting these episodes late but you guys will have to bear with me so like i'm sorry hopefully it changes at one point or the other but you guys will have to bear with me um, I got back from school late. One thing I'm very thankful for is the fact that I already prayed all my prayers in school, so I don't have to worry about. I didn't have to worry about that when I got home. I had that thought of what today's episode is going to be about on the bus, and I'm like, maybe I should talk about this, or maybe not. But I guess since I don't have any other thing to talk about now, not that I don't have any other thing, I just don't have the time to sit down. I feel like randomly saying stuff is the best at this point when like you're very tired and hope it makes sense to people who listen. Um so yesterday while editing while editing yesterday's episode, um someone in the house, I was sitting in like the parlor here, someone in the house was watching like a K drama to be more specific business proposal. Is that is that it? I think yeah, it's business proposal. And when I raised my head for a moment, I just apparently the um, scene or the clip I watched at that point was so funny. Like, it was so funny. I'm like, ah, so K drama can be this interesting. Huh. So I tried to, like, you know, just remove my mind from it because I had to, like, edit this episode and put it out, right? So I continued editing and then I looked up again. This scene was funny too. Ladies and gentlemen, after editing the podcast, I had to edit. I was supposed to go and read, though. That's how I sat down to watch how many more episodes. And I'm like, K-drama isn't that bad. Isn't, like, it isn't that bad. You know, like, I never saw it to be bad, but I just never, like, thought it would be nice. I don't know if you guys get my point of view. I just never thought it would be something I would enjoy. Maybe, like, because, I don't know, there's no particular reason, but I just never saw, like, a reason to sit down to watch them. Because, like, I'm not, like, I don't really sit down to watch movies on a normal day. So, like, why sit down to watch K-drama of all dramas or all movies or series or whatever? But yesterday, I don't know how people will say, ah, old cargo, business proposal, people who are really into, like, K-dramas, yeah? Yesterday, when I was watching this business proposal of a thing, I was so hoped, like, it was so funny. Like, um, some scenes, I got pissed, like, bro, why don't you, like, you know how um indian movies like you get pissed at some point so i got pissed like bro just do this jiggers but like i enjoyed the comedy i enjoyed the humor the fact that it could get me sitting down for like two hours and forgetting the fact that i had to study that's a lot that's a lot like i got really hooked i got really like focused with the particular k drama i was watching um it's i think i said this before but business proposal was what i was watching and then I told someone about it today, they were like, business proposal, old something, how come we've not watched? I'm like, I'm not a K-drama person, they coming down, <laughs> like, I don't watch K-dramas, I just watched it yesterday. I didn't even start from the beginning, that's the thing, you don't have to start from the beginning to understand. Like, I literally understood what the story was about. I didn't start from the beginning, I just joined because I saw clips that were funny to me. But, I'm definitely watching... The whole thing after my exams because i try i told myself i was going to spend more time watching movies after my exam i'm literally trying out k-dramas like i think i want to get myself engaged with that kind of thing because the the funny ones i don't think i would want like the romantic ones just like the funny ones something that will make me laugh it something that will make me laugh and i'll move fall down do you get that kind of thing because yesterday i was so happy like happier than ever watching it Forgetting all my life, like, no, <laughs> forgetting all the things I had to do, like, it was so nice. So let me know what, um, 
K dramas, people who watch K dramas, let me know what K dramas to watch. To be more specific, I want the one that has a very good sense of humor. Comedy, I don't want romance, please. But you can still see it or suggest one or two. But yeah, I want to watch like the ones that have very good sense of humor, very funny, laughter, and so on. Let me know what I should watch after my exams. I'm sure you guys must have noticed how low my energy is today. I'm actually very tired. Like I've said this over and over and over, but like this is becoming like my relaxing space. Like this is becoming a space I could just like talk out what I feel. I don't know if you guys are getting me, but I'm actually very tired. I don't know how to explain it. And I have an exam tomorrow by 9 a.m. Like, bro, what time are you expecting me to get off my bed? Like, no, don't do this. Especially people like us that take the bus. I have to start checking the bus. So like me, I usually get to school by eight, so <laughs> it's the same. It's not like the same thing, but I mean, getting to school one hour before the exam makes sense, yeah. But still, an exam is different from like classes. You get like, a choose to attend the class or not attend the class. But an exam, final exam, or oh, being real, as many new did not bore me away. But yeah, um, I have an exam tomorrow. I really hope I do well. I'm getting so worried about this particular exam this is my anthropology exam i've been talking about this guy is giving us 100 questions for two hours like bro i'm gonna get tired of reading the questions i'm gonna get tired of answering questions stop but yeah i should end this episode right now so i just quickly edit this and get back to studying also friends i'm not the only one having difficulties with the course so there's this group study thing we plan to have the, meet- the meeting has been scheduled for 10 p.m and it's 9 23 and i need to get this episode out before then so i have time to focus on like the zoom meeting and group discussion and everything but yeah i'm sorry if i'm like being all over the place but oh god tomorrow's episode is gonna be better hopefully but that'll be all for today's episode Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. Go and follow me on Spotify. Go and follow me on Apple Podcasts. Go and follow me everywhere, everywhere. So that you can always be the first to listen to these episodes. Like you can listen to feel good to get a notification that, oh, we may entertain that posted a new video. Um, sorry, did I just say video? Sorry. <laughs> we may entertain. She has posted a new, what's it called? What? Uh, I don't even know what I do. Sorry, Mimi Edu- Mimi Edutain has just posted a new podcast episode. It will feel so good. Like me myself, I receive notifications. If you guys don't know, my Apple Podcast when I post something, my Apple Podcast will tell me that I've posted something, and I'll go and really listen to my voice. Recently, I started liking, like, I started enjoying listening to myself. Like, it's just one thing I started enjoying. But yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. Until next time. Bye.